Hello everyone, sorry this is a bit of a short one. The video that I planned for today corrupted so I had to quickly make another one and Great League wasn't around so I had the Jungle Cup. Anyway we're running Clodzio, Skarmory and normal Clodzio. But right now I'm actually just using um, Alolan Dugtrio. I just want to show that Alolan Dugtrio just farmed down a Salazzle. What? That Pokemon is like the most heavy... A heaviest attack way to Pokemon I've ever seen. I I just wanted to show this off. This was just me uh, getting used to the game, you know, getting used to the cup. And I recorded it just to, you know, see if I get anything. And that was crazy! Did you see that? It farmed down it so quickly. <clears throat> and I'm surprised my opponent didn't just like give up. And I we we this game is already won. I mean you can see it. We've got so many we've got so many shields and they they they've got nothing. But they have a, also another one, Corvona. Wait, is that what you call it? I don't know, Cactus. I just call them all Cactus. And you can just Brave Bird it, take it out of here, and win. That was, I just wanted to show that off, you know. Now we're running proper. Oh no, one more game with um, Alone Dug Trio. Another cool thing, I am running Brave Bird because I do, I do not have candies for Skarmory. I just, it's never in the wild, and I just never get it from research. I have used all my rare candies on my Shadow Kyogre and my Soul Galeo, so I don't really have a lot of candies. And for some reason, I saw so many Scraggies. I just, and I'm using Clodzio with Aqua Tail I, because I also used all my candies to um, power up another Clodzio. But it's four mud shots to an Aqua Tail. Four! That is insane! It, the, it's just insane! I know there's another, uh, um, Home Slice Henry has already made a video on it, but I just, I, I, and I actually watched it while I was thinking, what should I use? And I was like, okay, fine, I'll use it. But, like, that's insanity. And I'm sorry if you can hear the rain through the roof, um, it's pissing with rain here. Anyway, power up punch again, and I go to two Aqua Tails, just because if, um, they don't shield it, then I can just, you know, double and maybe grab a shield with the last one but they do shield us so we can just get some chip damage and I swap out into my Skarmory I will not shield this because power punch eh, I mean it eventually does a lot of damage for a move that barely does anything now I I am actually going for the full farm down here so I can brave bird what's in the back and so yeah I'm going for the full farm down I almost get it without with a shield intact but uh sadly not um but I will be shielding this and they have Galarian Weezing very cool Pokemon very powerful I mean it's a very cool type but like geez and we just I mean we could have to be honest farmed down but we have two brave birds to throw at this thing so it ain't coming back now I do swap out into my Lone Dug Trio to farm down the Scrafty the next video will be on a Lone Dug Trio uh, Glare and Weezing into the next one. Now I'm running Clodzo this time. So, and uh, Stealing is incredible. I do try to catch the move, but I'm one turn off. I'm going to shield this fearing the overheat, but it's just brutal swing. I'll be swapping out. They counter swap into a Charger Bug. This is, this is, to be honest, this is a very good matchup for us because we resist literally everything they can throw. And Earthquake, it, it, it even resisted. It does quite a lot of damage. I mean, it does half health. Well, actually, to be honest, a bit more. It does, um, maybe 60 damage, 60% of its health, which, to be honest, is a lot. They're just going for crunch, and I will be going for another earthquake, which, I mean, we, if they want to have switch, they'll have to expend a shield, but they just give me switch, which is nice. And they'll be coming in with a crudilly, which is cool. I just pop out into my Clodzire, but they panic and counter switch into their... Glare and Weezing. Now that was a very bad swap on my end. I was, I was, I was like, what do I do here? I kind of want to keep my Clodzire, so I, I was meaning to swap out into my Skarmory, but I didn't. So that's fine. We can just, um, we can just like completely destroy this thing with Aqua Tails. And um, sadly, they do get to move yet, but I do shield this because I want, I want to get rid of this thing, and I do try to go for the Undercharge. But sadly, I undercharged just a bit too much because we can um, either we can get some little bit of chip damage with Aqua Tail, which to be honest is fine, and we can come in with our Skarmory, which it they Rock Slide they need like six Rock Slides. Oh no, no 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 three Rock Slides to KO, but they do have the back to back, which is annoying for me because I can't. But we're close to an Earthquake on Clodzire, so I do go for the Brave Bird. But, yeah, I do go for the Brave Bird, but we can almost farm them down 
but we are close to an earthquake on Clodzar. Uh, yeah, we're pretty close, but we actually can just farm them down. Anyway, I know it's short, but thank you for watching. As I said, the video corrupted. I had to quickly do my sets with Clodzar again, which, to be honest, is actually very, very powerful in the in in the spring, um, jungle cup. If you have nothing to run, run this team. It's very similar to what something uh, Homeless Slice Henry ran. It's except I'm running Clodzar instead of. Um, Unovan Stunfisk, which is um, kind of annoying, but uh, I didn't really have anything else to use. So thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.